Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to The Wasteland, where last time we uncovered the mysteries of Area 51 and we held down the Horde base against the Day 50 Horde. And this morning, we're over here at the Navtech Research Facility. I thought that I should park... Um, a great parking job, by the way, on top of the broken glass. That was brilliant. But I figured this would be the safest place to park the vehicle due to the fact that we've already cleared out this building. This is secure. We eliminated the threat that was inside, and we have Eric over here, Ballinger. Eric and Amanda, apparently. Goes by two names. And I'll... Yeah, I've accidentally hit him a couple of times. I will leave him to it. He seems to be handling business just fine on his own. His or her, for that matter. Whoop, look out. <laughs> I had a group of soldiers with me. I had to scoop them up and put them in my pocket because they were thrashing around too much inside the vertebrate. Apparently, that is a one-seater not meant to handle a whole crew of soldiers. Okay, so I think we're in the clear enough to get War Machine. It's perfect. War Machine is going to help us. We're going to go just basically one soldier at a time if we lose them i've got a couple of spares to drop down and um hopefully that way we won't get all tangled up in here because this is a huge facility and we definitely don't need this guy lurking around here war machine has the right idea clear this place out whoa my god that guy's strong okay what do we got going on inside there just a whole group of zombies kind of lurked their way in they don't have very good perimeter defense here but i think the oh, the building itself is pretty secure oops i just jumped into the barbed wire there a little bit okay Let's what else do we need to do Don't here first okay me. while war machine is working on that i'm gonna grab whoop come here junk i bought and storage just gonna drop some extra food some extra bandages and pretty much yeah that's it whoop okay we got a fight now okay there we go whoops taking a little bit of radiation already that reminds me i did have to take some rad be gone this morning to cure my radiation that i got during horde night and i brought i had to cook up another six rad z to help us today because i know that there's radiation going on in here All right let's poke our way through here a little bit we'll do a bit of a perimeter sweep and then we'll work our way inside somewhere yeah there's the radiation right there just well, okay, we need to not linger around in that for too long. I've already lost like half of my hit points. Great. Okay, I suppose... Oh, man, I thought I brought more painkillers. Whoop, look out. But I did not... Oh, that's right, because I used the painkillers that were in my inventory to... I think it's the recipe for the Rad Z to make that. Right, okay, so that's a bit of a bummer. I did put, I think it was two points into the physician. Hey, pumpkin cheesecake there. The physician this morning, let's just take the, the red the red z right now because there's just obviously radiation here everywhere yeah a couple points into physician so we can get a little bit more out of our first aid and yeah this place is already suffering some significant damage let's move on we could fight zombies here all day yep i saw a few loot crates over here so i wanted to scoop up the loot inside of them a couple of a uh, little bit of construction material here and whoop Oh, thanks for the uh, cover there, I guess. A couple of magazines, some building materials there, nothing special. There are some mutant, like, uh, meat bags out here. Whoop, there's a door right there. I might jump in there and um, kind of enter right from this direction. Now we've got mosquitoes. Are you kidding me? Those mosquitoes are strong, too. Look at that. Three club hits. And these guys have the blood sample, right? Uh, that guy didn't. He, he just had some meat. Anyway, I'm getting too far ahead of myself. We need to slow down here and go cautiously. Make sure that we're hydrated. Make sure that we're fed. And make sure that we're not encumbered. What's around the corner over here? Anyway, this is like a massive generator. Let's just climb up this little... Uh, it's like climbing up the A-frame. We've had plenty of practice with that and grab whatever's in this bag here. Not too bad. I think War Machine was actually giving me a boost up there. Whoop. I just heard a mutant. My first contact with them. What is this anyway? Oh, this is an oil old cistern. Oh, just had some water in it. Okay, weird. Yep, and radiation on this side over here. Whoa, holy crap. Actually, get air missiles crossbow. Take that. Nice. Oh, shoot. Did I, I... I meant to bring the explosive crossbow bolts with me. I guess there were 10 already loaded in, so that's gonna have to do it. I feel... I don't... Ooh, I don't know if I can do this, honestly. My god, there are more mutants up on the rooftop now. There... there where's that ladder that I just saw? There it is. Oh, boy. Maybe we gotta clear the rooftop first. Maybe that's the play here. Yeah, and I've, I'm still benefiting from the Rad Z, and yet... Well, I did just get shot a bunch. Maybe that was why I was hurting so bad there for a second. All right, let's clear the rooftop. 
All right, we've taken out a few so far. I saw a good weapons case back there. Let's whoop. These guys are kind of covering the um, egress route a little bit. Whoop, I'm gonna hide behind the little ventilation thing. That didn't help at all. Grab that nuka, whatever it was, and okay, that guy's done. Are we clear or relatively clear up here? War Machine's not up here with me, kind of on his own somewhere. Where was that weapons bag, weapons case that I saw? Oh, here it is right here. Um, crap, I'm currently, whoa, War Machine, you scared me there. I'm suffering from radiation, just gonna, I'm not gonna pick the log. It's gonna be difficult for me to pick under pressure but I can pick axe just fine there. Baton and triple barrel shotgun. Let's get out of the radiation <laughs> into some more radiation. Oh, 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 I don't know about that. <laughs> I was gonna say like, oh, we could sneak through there, but probably not a wise move. Another couple of guys over here though. Oh my God, the radiation here is ridiculous. No matter what corner I go to, I'm starting to get radiated. Kill that guy once and for all. Okay, I do declare that the rooftop is secure. I currently have 722 hit points rolling into me. I don't know how that happened, but I'll take it. <laughs> Maybe it's like backwards radiation. It's like the radiation that gives you superpowers like in the movies, right? Okay, meat bag pile over here and what? Oh, geez, they're just respawning uh, or, you know, they're sending more mutants out to take the positions as we move along. All right, I'm gonna jump down here because I saw some nuka cola down here. I'm gonna grab that. Okay, yep, and whoop, watch out, got your back there. Right, okay, like I said, we gotta go slow. I'm gonna, this is gonna be the front entrance right here. Oh, another drink there. Go slow, watch out for radiation. There's a nail board there. Yeah, I've seen the mutants using those before. I'm gonna go slow, we're gonna try to not, oh my God, two sunset star bottle caps there. Try not to, um, you know, get too far ahead of ourselves here. A little bit of dynamite there, that could definitely come in handy if I find some, if I find these radiation sources, I'll just blast them, you know? Uh, which kind of makes me think, what do we not need? We don't need the impact driver. We need dynamite. <sighs> okay, so I have 400 and something hit points rolling in remaining and I'll take the Rad Z and let's just head right in through the front door here. Okay, there's gotta be some radiation here somewhere. I can feel it. There's a generator or something in the back there. A little bit of like a lounge area here, maybe. Terminal, felt telephone. Door to the right. Okay, I guess we'll go this way first. Here's the first radiation source here. Um, yeah, let's just do this the old fashioned way. I don't want to get anybody hurt today if we can avoid it. There we go, not too difficult. Some of those things have like 5,000 hit points, so maybe the dynamite will be better for that. Oh, that one there is locked. Uh, how many hit points are on these? I didn't bring the auger today. I'm not sure exactly why. Okay, I guess I'll wait and see if I can unlock that through more traditional means, i.e. not breaking through with a pickaxe. Okay, yeah, that one's locked too. Guess that's our cue, we're going the other way. You can hear those doors opening and closing. And on my power armor radar, I can see a whole bunch of these guys. I've found them as well. Here, let's see if I can loosen them up just a little bit through the door there and use metal door, open it up and blast them. <laughs> Sometimes when I'm looking at these doors and they're open, it says use air. It's just like, yes, I want to use air in my lungs, please. All right, these doors, they auto open and close, or they, they auto close once you open them. So you have to kind of, you know, get through quickly, war machine. Talking about you here. The junk I bought made it. What's wrong with you? Okay, we're into, oh, like a decontamination unit. Right, the locker rooms. This is where they would, they would go to like put their clothes back on or whatever and, uh, you know, wash off all the radioactive isotopes first. Who's got the shotgun here? Oh my god! They're engaging in hand-to-hand -hand combat through a steel door. Here, I'll, um, I'll open it up for you. There you go! Get in there, bud. Live up to your namesake. Okay, I'm, I'm right behind you. Here we go. Whoa! There's vats here! Vats of Utilitron robots, or... I mean, it looks like a vat. I'm not... Usually you grow organic things inside vats like that. Ammo box here, whoa. Bunch of ammo, nuka grenades. Perfect, extra shotgun ammo too. Oh, there's a button. Although I don't know what that did. Maybe this button goes to these things, but they're just not powered right now or something. There we go, get in there. Go, 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 go. There we go. 
Can't deny this shotgun is is the best weapon that we we have currently. Oh, I can't get through here. Here we go. Oh my god. Hold up. Oh, watch out for the barrels. My goodness, they're everywhere. Also, that guy, he might have been trying to. Oh, yeah. See, that's a big radiation source over there. If I could just run back there and blast it, or at least get it started, you know? That did nothing. Okay, so never mind. I've got to do this the old fashioned way. I destroyed like every block around it, but not the actual source of radiation itself. There we go. All right, all right. So far, so good here. Search the mutants, search the meat bags. The meat bags are going to carry us through here because it's got all kinds of ammo and explosives. Whoops. Probably clear the area here. War Machine might need a break here momentarily, honestly. At 50% hit points right now. I can hear mutants, though. They sound like they're above me, but I can't be sure. There's a door there, so perhaps I'm correct. Oh, my. Is that Supercorn? It is Supercorn. Oh my God, there he is. Get back. War Machine, what do you, cover me, man. Thank you. Yes, give me that Supercorn. It's just one, it really doesn't do us any good at all because if I wanted to make seeds, well, I can make a whole bunch of things just with the one, I think, but I would need, isn't it five? Yeah, five to make the seed, so really not helpful to us. All right, let's take a minute to investigate what's going on here. What is, this control room here. Okay, so this is where they were growing some stuff. They've got dirt. They were growing some super corn. Whoops, a little bit of radiation over there. This must have been where they were like piping in some kind of a fuel or something. Chemistry bench over here. A little rudimentary if you ask me, <laughs> next to all this uh, high tech actual laboratory equipment. Oh, War Machine found a door and is having a great time <laughs> opening and closing it. Okay, we do have some rubble leading to the top floor here. I guess I'll go through and see if I can get some more magazines out of here. I mean, I think w we can't unlock everything. There's just cool, ooh, lucky piercings, luck plus one. Are you kidding me? Can I put those on? Oh, that replaces the cigar though. Mm, yeah, so no thanks on that one. All right, inventory is getting pretty full. Let me ditch all this stuff. So yeah, um. We we can't unlock everything. I wish that we could, but uh, there are definitely going to be some things that we just don't get to. Really, the, my main concern here, I was going to bring some acid because acid is used to make the AEM solution, which is pretty much why we're here. We're going to see if we can breed our own or grow our own mutant. Whoop, a bunch of meat bags hanging out up here. Nice, extra dynamite, cryolator cells, extra shotgun ammo, and... Uh, some more ammo, nice. Yeah, I was gonna bring some acid so that we could make those because it's like AEM solution and uh, what's the one? The unrefined, yeah, it uses some acid. I guess we'll just see if the equipment is here and then we'll head home, get the stuff together and then craft it while we're here. There's also the empty blue vial, the empty orange vial, the mutant DNA sample and I just haven't seen any of those things. I'm hoping that it's all here and if we find it, we'll kind of take it from there, which, oh, power armor rack right there. Another one over there, although they're empty, so that's unfortunate. Kind of an interesting place to store those things. But yeah, we gotta search every nook and cranny of this place so that we can find, see if we can find the special equipment to craft that stuff or special containers that have the vials and samples and stuff that we need. All right, whoop. Yeah, we're pretty clear here on the back end. I'm dehydrate okay we need to take a quick little pit stop i think war machine's gonna take a break and we're gonna get someone with the m60 out i have a couple of extra soldiers with me so pick you up let's try this person here or that's logan weaver with the desert vulture mm, that's a downgrade if you ask me but we'll, we'll roll with it for now oh we have some smg fire that's probably coming from outside i think there might be some action out there oh couple of explosions too yeah Definitely something fun going on out there. Oh, you know what? I think it's uh, the Enclave slash Gunners. They might be a little bit mad that I took out their crew over there at the piggy bank next door, but I don't think that they've noticed yet that my vertebrate is parked on top. So hopefully they just uh, clear out here eventually, but we might have to deal with those guys on the way out. For now, we proceed in here. We are going to need some more Rad Z because we're entering into a radioactive zone over here. Okay, and then... I hate to rush it, I don't want to be in a hurry here, but we do have to push through and see if we can find the source of radiation here somewhere. Um, whoop, yep, door is automatically closed. Let's get a bandage because we're starting to lose health. 
the um, the first aid rolling in can just barely overcome the radiation, you know, bleeding my health out. Oh, it's even difficult to see, but I think this is where we're heading right here. Oh, yep. Yep, we've got mutants here. We have some green glowing stuff here as well. Okay. Um, first and foremost, find the radiation. Don't worry about the mutants. We'll deal with them eventually. There's some radiation right there. Let's see if... Whoops! Oh my god! Whoa, get out of here! Whoa! Stuff's blowing up! Here, continue with the dynamite and just run around! Okay, did that did that do enough? Logan Weaver's with us. No, that did nothing. Oh, this is definitely the, the whoever's outside knows that we're here now. Can you hit the barrels? Okay, come on, come on. There you go. And now we can kill the mutants. Whoa, man. I think the dynamite killed a few of them. Logan, did you help or? Jeez, there's guys hanging out everywhere. There you go. Whew, yes, I have the same reaction there, Logan. Just holy crap. Like, give me a second to gather my wits. That was crazy. Some radioactive stuff over there. Okay, it looks clear enough for me to just come over here and start pickaxing it. There we go. Okay, that's down. Toolbox here. Okay, so. There you are. That's locked back there. I can see some mutants back there, though. Let's not get too far ahead there. I wanted to see what was up here. There were some vats of... of... something. Okay, don't don't go in there, because that could be... that could be really hazardous to your health. Okay, in terms of exits for this room, we have this locked door here, which goes into that room there, I would imagine. This says exit over here. This might be exterior. Oh, it is. Okay, if this is exterior, whoa, we're gonna take a break. We gotta kill these Enclave guys or whoever. Oh my God, there's a ton of them out there. They seem to have like breached the wall over there in the corner. So I'm just gonna work my way up from cover to cover. See if I can get to them and hold the position. We got a bit of a fatal funnel there, a bit of a bottleneck, okay. And how about a grenade? You're gonna have to be kind of careful here because it's getting toward nightfall here in the wasteland and that's never a good thing. There we go. That softened him up a little bit, I think. All right, breach! Okay, I did it. I killed everyone. I took a couple of hits myself there. What are we looking at? Oh, we got a whole bunch more. Okay, decapitate that one and evaporate that one and obliterate him. And now we've got sprinting zombies. And so I've got to stop shooting. It doesn't matter as much if everyone else is shooting, but if I'm shooting, it's bad news. And yeah, it might be just bad news all around anyway. And whoop, gonna have to go with the melee. No choice for me. There we go, he's dead. One more, hopefully? Is it one more or is there like five more? That threat has been neutralized. Let's get back inside. Yes, okay, let's get back inside here. I'm gonna pick this open and just see what's on the other side. There we go. Oh man, if I start shooting guns, well, at least we're inside the compound. Logan, Logan's gonna die. Logan's gonna die. Logan, why are you outside? Logan's dead. Logan died. I can hear the zombies eating him. Over here, it was Big Mama. Got him, after all. Logan! Oh, what about all my stuff? Where's all my stuff that you were holding? Well, that's a pity. I lost all that loot. I mean, it's 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 definitely a pity that we lost you as well, Logan. But, you know, I've got more of you guys. So, here we go. Who do we got now? Jonas. Come on, Jonas. We got work to do. All right, I expected casualties in a big place like this. I mean... Oh boy, I'm shooting guns now. And I'm probably going to pay the price for that. <laughs> that or Jonas's, I'm not exactly sure. You know what we might need to do is get the controls out. Mm, is this the one that I want here? Change the mode? Full control. Full control, that's what we want. Yep, Jonas is all messed up. Pick up Jonas. Okay, if things are still crazy like this after we get back inside, I think I'm gonna go home for the night and reset. Uh, make some more rad Z and all that and okay we did pick open this door here which goes into a little control room thing look at all these just interesting generators everywhere hey a loot chest not bad yep otherwise nothing to do in here i think where we're heading from here then is through the this gate over here yeah because there's a mutant right there we gotta we gotta pick this open though there we go we're in open her up and yeah, it keeps notifying me that Logan Weaver died. I'm well aware. All right, we got LaBoss, the super mutant here. Take him out. It's a perfect name for a mutant, isn't it? LaBoss. There we go, skill point too, nice. All right, I'm gonna forgo 
any more soldiers right now. It's just, it's, it's too difficult for the soldiers to, for us to coordinate together. What? Oh! Oh, sorry, I got sidetracked. Oh my god. Another one down there. Let's, let's clear the area first, but there's some serious business going on in there. Check the power armor radar. I can't, I can't see who, where this is coming from. Oh, oh, that guy can shoot through doors. He, he found a little crack to stick his rifle through. There we go. Open her up and uh, where'd he go? Oh, he's over there. Yeah, I guess we're going into the bat room to take that guy down. What? What is happening here? This is where they're growing the mutants. There's another one. I can hear him. He's inside this room here. Yep. Take him out. Try not to hit the one on the table. I don't want to... I don't know. Is he dead? Do we want to wake him up or... Let's get in here. Okay, so... If this is where they're growing the mutants... Then... We might be able to use some of the equipment to, to grow our own. Yeah, this guy's toast. This guy's totally dead. Maybe I can get the, the sample off of him though. Okay, there's all kinds of stuff going on back there. Let's just carefully... Try not to hit any errant barrels with a stray shot or something. Is he dead? Also, we're we're running very low on the microfusion cells. Okay. We're in a we're in a really bad spot here. Okay, shelves, repair kits. Shelves. Eh, that's not the biological type of stuff that we're looking for. I'm gonna try and see if I get Oh, I got acid out of them. That's weird. Oh, right there though, I did get the mutant DNA sample. A sample collected from a failed AEM test subject, but maybe it can, uh, maybe it can help perfect it. Maybe I can help perfect it. Um, perhaps. I'm definitely intrigued. I want to, I want to find out. Let's go back out into this room and see if we can find any of the vials or the equipment to make them. What is this here? This is a, a mutant control collar. Are you kidding me? This collar will allow you to control a mutant that has been treated with AEM. Oh, is that what we have to do? We have to get the AEM and then find a mutant and then convert him to our side? Is that... Am I on the right track there? I want, I want to take the impact driver and see if these dismantle. They do. Okay, so this one... That guy's alive. That is a living mutant in there. But, um, apparently a paralyzed or unconscious. All right, I'm gonna harvest with the impact driver and see if I can get anything out of it. Mutant flesh. Okay, so I was able to grind that guy into hamburger with the impact driver, but that did me no good. I got nothing special out of it. This one here? Oh, geez, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Is there anything up in the, the ceiling there? Should I jump up there or... Will I come across that area naturally? Okay, yes, there is a natural way to get up there. Just proceed very slowly and carefully. Okay, these canisters contain gasoline sometimes. Might be explosive. Watch out for that elevator door. Is this an elevator? Old elevator. Uh, are we going up or down? We're going down. I don't like going down, necessarily. Whoa, 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 we, whoa, we went down really fast there for a second. Wow. Elevator door. Here we go. Okay, we're in like the, whoa, 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 the bowels of this facility now. Okay, clear. This is like a storage area. Maybe they're storing some vials down here. Got some mutants. Oh, more vats, more mutants. Here, hold, hold the line up here. There we go. Hold the staircase. There we go. Working, kind of. They've got very rudimentary primitive weapons. I think the mutants are suffering a little bit, I think. A little bit of attrition. We've been at war with them for so long that uh, I think we've really thinned out their ranks and we've taken a lot of their good loot away. There was a side door here which went, oh, are you kidding me? That is like a super vat over there. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, what's that? What's that? NCR bobblehead. What does that do? It's a mostly decorative value, I guess. I'll take it. Bookshelf here, mining book, blackstrap coffee. Good to have. Okay, there's uh, a lot of stuff in my inventory though that's really not good to have. So give me a second here. Extra rat remover, pick that up somewhere. That's nice. I'm telling you, I have i don't think I've ever been this nervous. I'm underground in the wasteland at night alone-ish. I mean, I've got some people 
poten potentially that I could get down to help me out, but <laughs> sometimes I wonder if they hurt more than they help, honestly. Whoa! I was just curious, that looked like a very suspicious ventilation duct, and it is, in fact, leading me... Oh, back to the elevator shaft, I guess. Okay, well, good to know about. Okay, we're into the mutant room. Oop, treasure map. Nice. All right, here's where we need to start looking for the proper... I don't know what they were called. I don't quite remember, and I'm not going to look it up right now, but whatever crafting stations are necessary to make the AEM solution. Oop. Another banjo. Yeah, like these things. Uh, I don't know what these are, like servers and electronics and stuff. Maybe this. This looks like where you would make mutant, though, but I can't seemingly interact with this. Oh, okay, sorry, I just missed a whole bunch of guys that are out here. Oh my god, there are many more of these um, vats and mutants everywhere. All right, they're all stuck over there. Whoop, desert vulture, watch out. Try not to get shot too many times with that. We're doing okay, though. And luckily, there's not a lot of radiation down here. Oh, jeez. Okay, we've got, uh... Oh, human bites? That's disgusting, you stupid... Oh, st st stupid mutants, man. We gotta kill them all. To, they're eating people. Okay, if I could get a mutant onto my side, that would be so cool. We could train them to infiltrate, like, the master mutant compound. Oh! Oh, this one's red. I was... What if I go inside? No nothing happens if I go inside. There must be a switch around here somewhere. See, it... I th wouldn't it stand to reason that you put the AEM into one of these machines here and you put a mutant inside and it spits out one that you can control? We've got the collar, so... I don't know. Keep looking. Don't give up yet. What's this one? <gasps> what is this? This is where I... Th oh, this is the hazardous material handling station. Okay, so... We're getting warmer. I don't have the AEM solutions. We need to find whatever cooks that stuff. And then last time I saw one of these guys, I got acid out of them. Whoop, whoa, whoa. What was that? Blood splatter number four. <laughs> I don't think that's what we're looking for. Whoa, right here, incubator. What about this stuff? Oh my God, we found it. The AEM solution unrefined requires acid nitrate powder, empty blue vials, broken chemical oven, which is repairable, going to require a vehicle impact driver, maybe, to repair? Requires electrical parts. I'm sh there's, give me a light. Okay, I can definitely get that. I, I think I need more. More lights, please. All right, I tried it with nine, I tried it with 20, I tried it with 30, but apparently this requires a lot of electronics parts, and there's a lot of electronics here, so I'm gonna rip right straight through them. Okay, surely that's not going to require more than what I just got there. I got like a couple hundred, so... Still not working. Am I... Am I doing this wrong? Do I not need the vehicle repair impact driver, and instead I need the regular impact driver, but if I end up hitting that and it breaks... We're, we're totally screwed. Here's an incubator, and that actually has the empty orange vials and the empty blue vials for me. What did I need again? Oh, I can make it now. I can make the AEM unrefined solution. AEM solution refined, AEM solution refined. Okay, so we need to have one of each of the unrefined, I believe. Yeah, because blue vial, orange vial, one of each. That's going to take a couple minutes, and then we'll need to, I think, cook them into the refined ones in the chemical oven. Do I need a... what do I need? A nail gun? Nail gun, hammer, something like that to fix that? It's the only thing left for us to... to do to complete this chain, I think. Okay, so I've come to the conclusion that, um, the next thing I'm going to try, I'm going to go home, I'm going to get some acid so that we could potentially make some more of the solution, and, um... Oh, we missed a couple of containers out here. Don't I have a good crowbar I can whack these open with? I do. Let's just search these up briefly. A couple of, um, some sort of cells there and some books. Okay, it's just average stuff. Okay, so stay here, hold down the fort, watch the mutant vats, and I'll be back with a hammer, nail gun, acid, and some other materials. Scratch that. I think the elevator broke. That's why, why we dropped down so fast. So that 
is probably why there was the alternate escape over here. Okay, I have returned and I've brought some materials and stuff with me. I There's a screamer somewhere. I looked around for her and she screamed, but I did not find her or kill her. So that we have that to contend with right now. I did bring the nail gun and... Yes, it worked. Okay, that was the key all along. Man, I overthought it a little bit. Anyway, so we can now make the refined solutions. Okay, it's going to take a minute. I can also, I think, make... See, I brought some acid with me. I can make one of the AEM unrefined solutions, but I can't make the other one because we don't have the mutant DNA sample. And... Wait, where do I get that from? I've... I've already forgotten. I didn't get it off of this guy, did I? No, I'm... Well, getting some more acid off of that guy. Interesting. Okay. Well, I guess we just get the one. One shot to do this correctly. So we go from... Is it... This? Yeah, we go from that over to this. And was there anything else that we needed there? Some scrap polymer, which of course I don't have. I'm sure I could find some of that around here somewhere though. Okay, we've got one so far. This says the solution has been refined and is ready to be mixed with its counterpart chemical to make AEM. Mix the two solutions together at the hazardous material handling station. And while we're waiting, I guess uh, we'll have a couple snacks. Some chicken rash. I found some more meat bags and stuff upstairs on my way through. And then when I was leaving to go back to the vertebrate, I did find there's like a whole section of this place that we didn't explore and it's upstairs. And so there is much more to see and do here. But at least we can get the most important thing out of the way. And that is making myself the AEM. What does that stand for? Advanced Evolution Mutagen, right. Okay, so craft that for two minutes. And while that's going, we're gonna go do some explora exploration upstairs. Maybe uh, find a mutant and tie him up, you know, <laughs> get ready for the whole conversion process. Um, did I? Oh yeah, that was the, the cool looking room over there. The, the one with like finished wood and carpet and everything that's nice. There we go, screamer screaming again. I suppose that's what we have to do. We gotta go take care of this business. All right, where? Where even are these guys? I I can't imagine <laughs> that she can hear me through all of these walls, but whatever. Let's track her down. She's in... I think she's in the building, though, somewhere. She's carved her way through. Airdrop coming in. Not concerned about that right now. Yeah, some untouched meat bags, at least. Whoa! Nava's Gain Slugger! A new club! Well, let's give it a try, at least. And a treasure map for Taylor's treasure. I already read one of those this morning, though. What does this look like? Oh, just a baseball bat with some rusty spikes in it. Looks like it would get the job done. Right, okay, we're back to the area with the Utilitrons. I'm getting further away from the Screamer, though. This place is a labyrinth. We do have zombies in here, though. Oh, here she is! What are you doing? There might be another one, though. Oh, this kind of... Oh my god, a radiated Screamer. Don't need that around here. As well as radiated zombies. Okay, we're... You know all that smack I was talking about screamers before? I kind of have to eat my words on that one. Things are getting a little bit hectic around here. Oh, I'm my own worst enemy, I swear. Got another radiated screamer here. Anything good in the screamers here? There's a cop right about to shoot at me. Oh, look out. Yeah, missed. Okay, and with this... I think that the screamer cycle has been broken. So what's so special about this? Because it seems like it's swinging very slowly. It does not do very much damage, especially compared to the steel club. I mean, it is only a level one and uh, what does it use to repair it? Just re regular repair kits. And it says, send those zombie heads out of the park. You know, I'd rather not. We'll go back to the regular steel club. These legendary weapons, I mean, some of them are just awesome like this one here and the Aramis's crossbow with the explosive crossbow bolts is pretty cool too but for the most part uh well at least some of the legendary weapons have been a bit of a letdown to me okay now I've got to find my way back to the AEM room I think I'm on on the right track whoop we got a case over here I've been using the the crowbar as if that's better than the pickaxe. I don't really think that it is. I think I could probably put the put the crowbar away. It might have been useful in the early game. There we go. We got the microfusion cells, the MFCs. Yeah, but right now, I think I'd rather just go with my nice, good steel tools. Oh my, I'm finding all kinds of these vault tech containers now that I've kind of caught my breath and I'm not scrambling for my life. So <laughs> maybe pull a little bit of good ammo out of here if we're lucky. You know, 
electromagnetic cartridges. That's good for like the rail gun. I, I've looked into that and never seen any rail guns though. So I'm just kind of sitting on a couple thousand of those things. All right, over the river and through the woods to the AEM solution machine we go or not because I just, I just did a circle. We're going in circles now. There we go. That's the orange door that we're looking for and just kind of jump straight down here and Yes, we're in the right spot now. Okay, this is it right here, the AEM. Now, I don't know what we do. Handle this carefully. You wouldn't want to end up like those guys in the tubes, would you? Use this item on a mutant stasis tube to finish their transformation. Oh. The mutant stasis tubes over here. We There's like two or three or four of them. I think there's one upstairs as well. So I used this to... Oh, finish the process. It's O-Dog. O-Dog, the mutant, is naked. We gotta get you some clothes. I got some clothes for you back home. Interested in hiring you with one mutant control collar to hire him. No freaking way. We just hired ourselves a mutant. Oh, I love how it just turned into the, the non-functional version there. Okay, can we just, um... Oh, he's got the collar on his neck. What? This, this, I'm, my mind is blown. This is crazy. It looks like you need some first aid there, buddy. You're looking awful worse for the wear right now. I'm just going to pick you up, though. I don't want to risk losing you. Uh, luckily, the the control collar comes with the honey, I shrunk the kids machine, whatever, to shrink them down into my backpack. Okay, we're done with the basement portion, unless I can get myself another mutant DNA sample, in which case I will head back down there and get myself another mutant Ooh, this one's locked let's open it there we go easy peasy i haven't heard any mutants for a little while and nothing's showing up on the radar so oh right this is we've come full circle that was one of the locked doors that i turned around on when i first came here and this was the other one there we go we're in looks clear right i've already harvested up all those bags there that's what that's how i got all this crap this is in my inventory right now so no big deal there couple of just random hallways. Okay, some prison cells. Grab whatever's in that and keep your wits about you. There could be mutants here anywhere. More mutant bags. I have searched so many and those that's the best loot that you'll ever come across are in those like meat bags there. And I've been through at least 20 of them. What is that? Oh, that's a that's some kind of a pistol. Also, yeah, we would need another control collar, wouldn't we? Yeah, maybe we're just not gonna get more than one of those guys. Let's, um, yeah, we just break into this. I'm just like picking locks. There we go, good enough. And hey, a nice pair of military boots. In fact, <laughs> I think that's the first piece of military armor that I have seen all month long, as long as I've been out of prison, you know? Okay, this area here has been a bit of a maze as well. This area in the back, though, is still unexplored, so here we go. Oh, and then... Are these the mutant vats that we've already seen? I can't even tell. There's just have been there's been so much going on here. Ah, there we go. There's some radiation and it feels like it's in this direction over here. Let's proceed cautiously in this direction then. Oh, and um take some rad Z and also take a quick bandage. What are we working with back here? That's the the alternate door to this room here just keep an eye on my health there nothing back here hearing some strange noises there it is right there though take it out and we're good okay another one of these meat bag piles here it's like the prison cells or maybe like the experimentation cells back here like this is where they put the mutants when they're kind of still maturing you know i'm sure they um <laughs> they don't know quite what to do with themselves when they just pop out of the chamber Okay, well, I've had a look around here a little bit further, and I haven't found anything interesting. I haven't found any more of the mutant DNA samples. I think we just got the one there. So I think the thing to do now is head home, see if we can get some armor for our O-Dog, our new mutant, and also get him a good weapon. I'll have to select a proper firearm for him. Maybe like an auto shotgun? That sounds kind of appropriate to me. Just there, there's so many nooks and crannies here, you could probably spend a whole day here just going back and forth. It, it seems to, it's like all a loop basically. So I don't know, I probably missed a bunch of stuff here, but I'm pretty satisfied with how things turned out today. So let's just kind of cut our losses. Well, we didn't really lose, right? We lost 
one soldier. Um, but we gained one mutant, which honestly, I'll take the mutant. <laughs> Honest, super mutants. They have, they're immune to radiation. They have super strength and, um, they're just cooler. Don't tell the radcats I said that though. The, the radcats are pretty cool too. All right, here we go. We're at the door. Although I'm on the wrong side of the building. I parked on the rooftop of this place. What are you doing here? I almost just shot him with an explosive crossbow bolt. That would have been hilarious. Okay, I do declare that the Navtech research facility is clear of mutants. And also, we've completed our mission of making our own mutant. What a cool day. One of the best days I've had in the wasteland so far. And with that, I'm going to head back to the base and get things a little bit organized. We have just got, like boxes and boxes of loot to sort through and I was gonna kind of hit up this area over here while I was here but now at this point I don't think that's a wise move it's getting late I've done what I set out to do today let's go get this airdrop <laughs> you know maybe on second thought let's not because that is it would not only be difficult to bring the bird down actually maybe not too difficult but I'm just kind of thinking to myself that there's a chance that the mutants have come back to this area. I'm gonna, I think I can do this though. Special operation here. Bring this bird down right out front, nice and easy. Yes, I see mutants. Mutants are definitely back in the area. So let's try to make this snappy here. Just stash and run. And we might have zombies around the corner here. We do, oh, it's right up on top of the fence there. And I don't think that the mutants are really on to me. So we're fine. Give me this. The last airdrop we got had a bundle of power armor mods. No luck on this one. There are zombies inside. Okay, so the mutants are having a real hard time over here still. Ah, uh, there they are. The mutants are coming out to chase me now. <laughs> they, they got the courage to come out just as I was taking off. Good enough. All right. We proceed with the plan to go home and get organized. I'll see you in a couple of hours. Okay, we're back and relatively well organized. I did find this little toy or this little trinket here. Let's just kind of set it down somewhere as a a token of our success today it's just so tiny we have a broken m60 machine gun that i've been hanging on to for quite a while and i wanted to see if i could get a regular m60 made from that oh yeah that's like a regular workbench thing over here right m60 only going to be a level one but i don't feel like it really matters when it comes to our companions there i don't think i think it's just like you know it's an m60 it's not like doing extra damage because it's a level six or whatever so here's o dog or also known as maester diva now <laughs> okay so maester diva uh let's go show me your inventory drop in that m60 weapons menu rifle m60 there we go i like your weapons dance it's um textbook <laughs> and there should be a way now to wait i gotta reread this okay so damage mitigation is three percent with the mutant lower left arm armor we also have the helmet and a chest armor piece which is uh, five percent and ten percent damage mitigation respectively so what we have to do here with this item on your hotbar, looking at an AEM mutant and using the secondary action, it will equip it onto the mutant and give him higher damage resistance. You know what I want to do, though? Because I know how some of these things work. I'm just going to take the M60 back for a second. Oh, well, there you go. There's the arm armor. Have a helmet. Good. And <laughs> this is fun. Have a chest piece. Yes. Nice. All right. And then I, I, I don't know if that would have mattered or not, but there's the... M60 back and use it. There we go. We gotta get this guy some pants though. It's a little awkward hanging out around him. Okay, Diva, I want you to stay where I'm standing. I'm gonna start stationing some guys up here when, we're, cause like it, it just makes more sense to have them up here in the fresh air than having them all crammed in a box down here. So yeah, give me the rest of the crew. All right, we are, what are we at now? We have four downstairs. We have, looks like five now upstairs. So we're up to nine. I, I did a head count a couple of days ago and I came up with 11 and I'm not sh exactly sure uh, why my brain wanted it to be 11 and not nine, but we are, we continue to now be at nine. We were down one and now we're up one again. So yes, nine companions. You shall be known as the fellowship of the ring. Just kidding. This is the brotherhood of steel. Okay. Let's get to work here. Oh, and wouldn't you know it? Maestro Diva comes up as red on the compass because <laughs> the power armor can't tell that this mutant is under my control. This all is pretty damn fascinating, if you ask me. Okay, so 
That was an entire... <laughs> These noises, man. This was, um, yeah, quite an adventure. I'm thrilled with how things turned out today. I think for tonight, I need to kind of take inventory of what we need. We're doing okay on steel there. I think I'll probably need to go get some more iron and some more stones so that we can make some more building materials for the upcoming Vertibird landing pad project. Hopefully we can get started on that tomorrow. Anyway, you guys can take first watch here. I'll go out and do some mining. You can hang out and get to know our new mutant companion here. I'm sure he has some um, fascinating stories to tell of growing in a vat for a couple of months. I will grab some fuel and head down into the mines. Anyway, thank you very much for joining me on this adventure and I will see you first thing tomorrow morning. Hey everyone, I just wanted to say thank you for watching, for leaving a like, but most of all, thank you to the long list of amazing supporters that you see right here. I hope this episode has earned your subscription and I can't wait to show you the next one. Best wishes to all and goodbye.